Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share this little fall house tour with you guys. I decided to decorate my house for Thanksgiving and basically just the fall non-spooky season and I wanted to share it with you guys. I also have included a super simple pillow cover DIY. There's literally no sewing, no nothing. You just need a piece of cloth and it's super easy so I have included that in the video as well. So let's jump straight into it. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so please click that subscribe button. The YouTube algorithm is not very kind to us small YouTubers so you clicking that subscribe button and that like button would help me out so so much and I would greatly appreciate it. Now that that's been said, let's move on with the video. So of course, first I had to take down the Halloween decorations. I was actually a bit sad taking them down because I couldn't believe that Halloween was already over. But I did enjoy my time because I was watching some Disney Halloween movies as a final goodbye to my Halloween decor. Um, so that was fun. And after all of that was put away, I brought up my Thanksgiving decor and I pretty much laid it all out just so I can see what I'm working with. I decided to start off with this tablecloth and I laid down the placemats which I had hauled previously in a recent haul and I have like this little table runner. Then I added some plates and charger plates with some of these bouquets that I put together from previous hauls. I will link all of those down below. And at the same time, I was working on this little side table. Those pumpkins you see at the end and Mickey Mouse has stayed the same since the Halloween house tour, but I did add a few new things that I got in previous hauls. So compared to my last video, this has now become my pumpkin and pine cone patch. And for my coffee table, it's pretty much the same as how it looked in my Halloween house tour, but I did replace the poison apple for pumpkins. So I did add a little vase filled with pumpkins and a couple of pumpkins in the center as well. I decided to keep the floating candles and flying keys from the previous Halloween house tour. Um, they just provide this kind of warmth and glow and I just love the aesthetic of it. So I decided to keep them up and they just, they just look so magical and they make me so happy. So I'm really glad that I decided to keep these up. and. They took a while to put up, so I'm going to enjoy these for as long as possible. My pillow arrangement is still pretty much the same. I still have my little heated blanket there and headwig, but I do have that little pillow in the center there, um, which I will show you how I covered it up. It's actually one of those little white pillows that I covered up. Um, you can kind of see it there. It kind of got smushed because my husband sat on it, but uh, let me show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm starting off with this really beautiful orange piece of cloth. Um, it does look more red on camera for some reason, but it's that beautiful fall orange. And this actually came pre-cut and it was just a couple of bucks. And this pillow I actually got from Five and Below. And I just wanted to temporarily cover this silver pillow with a more warm tone pillow cover that was more suitable for the fall time. So this is literally going to take you like five seconds, depending on how skilled you are at folding cloth. But um, I'm just starting off by folding it into a square. You don't even have to do that. You can you can cut it if you want, but I was too lazy to cut it. <laughs> and I would suggest, by the way, ironing it so that it is not so wrinkly. But again, my laziness. It's just it's just my laziness. Next, you just place the little pillow um, as you see here, and you kind of just roll it inwards just once. This is kind of like pillow origami. And this folding method is perfect if you want to reuse this cloth for another DIY project. And then you take the flap from the other side and fold it downwards. And I'm just folding it like this so that it's a cleaner edge. Here I'm just trying to make sure that the cloth is as smoothed out as possible. Again, I totally suggest you do 
um, some ironing and just iron it down. But anyways, um, I'm starting with the corners that are flapping outwards. I'm slowly kind of folding them inwards and we're going to create a tie. Now just gather both ends that you created and we're going to tie it right in the middle. I just end up doing only one knot in the middle, but you can do a double knot. It'll be far more secure if you do that. And it will look really pretty if you do kind of like a little box knot in the middle. But I'm just going to do one knot in the middle because it was actually still very secure. Um, you can either leave it like this with the flaps sticking outwards. Um, again, if you ironed it, it would look more like a bow. <laughs> And if you do a double knot, it will look really pretty, but I am just going to tuck it in like you see here. And it kind of looks like a little turban twist tie bow. And you just have to keep tucking and adjusting until you get the look that you're going for. And again, you can go back in with an iron or a steamer or even a hair straightener to really perfect it. There are so many tutorials on this on YouTube. Uh, I just thought I would show you really quick on here, just how to how I did it at least. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something new. This is such a great way to temporarily and quickly change up your pillow arrangement and the whole look and vibe of your couch living room situation and I'm definitely going to be doing this for Christmas time as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you the final look um, with the lights on and then I'm going to turn off all the lights so that you can see how magical it looks at night. Um, but first, let's go through all of the items. Pretty much all of this decor, the pumpkins and um, the pine cones, I got from Hobby Lobby and Party City. And that potpourri in the middle I recently hauled is from Marshalls. And those are just my apothecary jars that I just filled up with really random stuff. Um, pumpkins, acorns, pine cones. So there's a little theme going on in this little section. And I literally just got in those fairy lights that you see there. And it's my first time ever playing with fairy lights and seeing them up close. They are so magical, especially at night. And these... Fairy lights in particular change colors, so it comes with a little remote and you can change the colors of it and it has a variety of colors that you can choose from. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'll link that down below in case you wanted that for your home. And then these pumpkins I got from Hobby Lobby. Again, recently hauled this. Um, they are fake, but they're very heavy duty. I feel that they would be great for indoors as well as outdoors. And here I have my little wallflower from Bath & Body Works, and in case you're wondering, the scent is the perfect autumn. And right next to that is the table. I absolutely love the final result. It looks so gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. I absolutely love the colors and just the whole fall vibes. It's just absolutely perfect. All of these items are either from Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree or Amazon. If you want to know where an item is from specifically, just go ahead and ask me in the comment section below and I will let you know. I decided to add this little decor on all of the chairs because I wanted it to tie in with the table decor because the chairs kind of looked a little plain when it was left alone, so I added some ribbon and these little leaves in the center and then here I have my tried and true candles which I used in my previous decor video with some pumpkins inside of it and over there is my little lantern I have one on either side just like my previous video and then here is my little table setting I wanted napkins but I did not get them in time but um, this is a little place setting that I hauled previously. I think it's from Home Goods, and these little charger plates I've had since like I don't know, like four years ago, I think. And um, the tablecloth again I hauled recently. It's from Party City. It's a little short, but uh, if you are bothered by that, you can just stitch some lace or something just to 
um, increase the length of it, but it didn't bother me much. So on the center of each plate, there was supposed to be a napkin, but also these little leaf clips that I got from the Dollar Tree. The end chairs both have this beautiful orange leaf, and the other four chairs have the gold leaf. Then on either side, I have these little pumpkins. They're actually ceramic. One says blessed and one says grateful. They're both from Hobby Lobby. And this fall sign is also from Hobby Lobby. It's actually styrofoam. And when the fairy lights hit it, it looks extra sparkly and magical at night. I added a few little velvet pumpkins here and there. Um, those are actually from Hobby Lobby. And so are these little leaves. And these leaves, by the way, are the same leaves that I used for the back of the chairs. And that little table runner. Uh, I've had it for so, so long. I got it a long time ago, I think from Ross. And I have three bouquets on the table. Um, on either side of the main bouquet, I have just all of those little glittery ferns and glitter twigs that I got from Dollar Tree. And I put them in a little Dollar Tree orange vase as well as some pumpkins here and there because you know that I'm obsessed with pumpkins. If you haven't already guessed, I, I am. I'm obsessed with pumpkins. So I added the same bouquet on the other side just to create a little bit more of a full look and a more of a symmetrical look as well. And then this is my main bouquet. I just have it in a clear vase and I wrapped the stems with some beautiful tulle the pattern is actually gold maple leaves and super pretty. And then I added some pumpkins in between the little um, orange dahlias and it turned out really gorgeous, especially of course when the light hits it, the glittery pumpkins and the glittery fall sign just looks super magical. There is my little fairy light, which is absolutely beautiful. I've only had it for like two days now and I'm already obsessed. I really want to get some more, ugh, the obsession has begun, but um, I did choose an orange shade for the light, in case you're wondering. It's hard to tell in the camera, but it is orange, unlike the curtain lights, which I did previously haul as well. They are only come in one color, and it's just like the regular warm white light, and, but you can change the um, like blink pattern of the lights, which I thought was really cool. The light string itself is clear, so at night all you see are the little twinkling lights. And I think I chose like glimmer, like the glimmer setting or something, so it looks like little fireflies. But this is the little remote, you just press the button and it goes through all of those little um, settings that you can choose from, which I thought was super, super cool. Um, the next curtain I get will probably be color changing though because I really like um, being able to change up the color of the curtain. And this is where I decided to put the garland. Um, this is actually two garlands and it's this really thick, beautiful, luscious garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. The foiled garland matched perfectly with my foiled wreath which I also got from Hobby Lobby. It's right next to my kitchen. I didn't put it outdoors this time. I put it inside my house so that I could see it. And then this is my little coffee station. Um, I will show you in between like with the flash on and without the flash. So if you see the light switch on and off, <laughs> that's what it is. But um, it's pretty much the same exact setup as my Halloween house tour. I just took out the Evil Queen mug and the soap dispenser and I just added some tea lights beside my Keurig just to bring in a little bit more light. That is my favorite candle, pumpkin cupcake, if you know, you know. Um, and then I have my little beautiful pumpkins, my little Cinderella pumpkins, the Hello Fall sign from Dollar Tree, my little wallflower from Bath & Body Works. And those are the little tea lights that I was telling you about. And 
these are some goodies that I got from Trader Joe's, all pumpkin spice themed, right under my little central perk um, sign. And by the way, if you haven't tried these pumpkin spice batons, oh my gosh, you're missing out. Go to Trader Joe's, get it, and then thank me later. All right, so that is it for my little food review and my little coffee station. I thought I'd go ahead and show you my little Thanksgiving kitchen towels. Um, it's just a plain orange kitchen towel with a buffalo plaid. They actually came together in a pack and I got them both from Hobby Lobby. I did actually see a Mickey Mouse Thanksgiving themed kitchen towel from, I think, Ross or something. I need to go back and get it. I can't believe I didn't pick that up, but anyways. So this is just a little overview. There's my little living room area, my little side table. Right next to it is the dining table with all the sparkling lights. And right next to that is my little coffee station and then my little kitchen towels and finally my little wreath. So it's all pretty much a little circle of fall goodness. Alrighty guys, so that is it for my little fall house tour. I will do a whole overview with the lights on and off and I will put some nice copyright free music <laughs> uh, in the background for your enjoyment. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy Thanksgiving!